Hurry, 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 hurry. Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming. And uh, we are going to pick up where we left off. We are on the anomaly, so we're going to take a look around and see what's here. And first off, they want us to visit Helios. Ah, young one. You still roam the boundaries of this universe. How I envy you. My time out in reality has long passed, but I miss it greatly. Perhaps if you might help an old soul and share the things you've seen, I yearn for the stars for the glory of discovery. Give data? Thank you, little one. You have no idea what this means to me. Please take these nanots. They are nothing, but they are all I have now. Uh, okay. We got some nanites for him. Nice. Okay. Learn new technology blueprints. So, it wants us to go over here now. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's an appearance modifier. Okay. Uh, we got to figure out how to get over there. I guess we go through here. And then over here. Iteration Selene. Traveler, new, your suit is an extension of yourself. Let me aid you. Research exo suit upgrades. Hazmat gauntlet. Okay, that'll allow us to um, pick certain types of flora that are wor worth a lot of money. And what does this do? Simple translator. An automatic translation device. It records and parses nearby conversations before in the future. Okay, so that allows us to... It's a, it's an auto-translator, basically. Um, rocket boots. Cool. All right, so I'm not really too concerned about getting this stuff right now. Uh, and some of it we might just find automatically anyways. Personal refiner, compact. Oh wow, that's cool. That lets us refine stuff uh, on our suit. Some of the trade rocket. A personal rocketry device with a direct link to the galactic trade work. Oh, that's cool too. Okay, nifty. All right, we'll be looking at this stuff later. Um, so now, what does it want us to do? It wants us to talk to you. This allow, it gives us more construction stuff, um, including, I think, storage. Yeah, uh, well, wait, storage. Where's storage? Paving, large, uh, all door, access ramp, climb ladder, and a large window, T-shaped. Uh, small prefabs. Okay, so these are prefabricated thingies. Technology modules. Health station light box. Light box. Oh, like like a lamp light. That kind of light. Construction modules. An underground secure parking facility for Romer Medium Exocraft. Aquatic construction, decal designs, posters, decorative modules, illumination, industrial modules, agricultural modules. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Storage units. This is what we want. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need we're gonna need to start farming up salvage data to, to get to this get this stuff, but this is where we can actually store things. <laughs> Nifty. Okay, cool. So that's there. Um, what does this guy do? No, I didn't. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to. Yeah, talk to this guy. 
Wings of Golden Glory, friend, there's no end to the stars. Research starship upgrades. Very nice, okay. We can get this stuff with nanites. Instability drive. Highly advanced upgrade for the pulse engine. Vastly increases fuel efficiency. Very nice. Okay, and then these are different types of weapons that we can purchase. All right. Deflector shields, launch thrusters. Cadmium drive. Yeah, these are better um, hyperdrives. We can go further and stuff like that. Uh, large rocket tubes. Okay. All right. Pretty cool. And then let's see. Over here we have. Oh, Exocraft Research. Fusion Engine. Okay, apparently we already know that. But I think, I think these are just modules for Exocraft. Um, I'm not actually sure how we learn Exocraft directly. Synthesis Laboratory. Okay, so this is just... Oh, we could get an Atlas Pass. That way we could open up some of those more valuable crates when we come across them. That's something to think about. Two hundred fifty nanites. Okay. Um, and then you. You're the multi-tool guy. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Mining beam bolt caster, advanced mining. So we already know this. We. We just need to get this up to, to make it. Optical drill. Nice. Very cool stuff. A blaze javelin. A barrel ionizer, a small launcher. Nifty. Okay. So, yeah, right now we're kind of window shopping, I guess, for lack of a better way of putting it. Um, we will be coming back here. We can call the anomaly to us at any point in time once we discovered it, which we have. Uh, so we don't have, you know, we can come back here anytime we want to, essentially. What is up here? Iteration Mercury. Have you stood before a portal, stranger? Felt it leech the life from your skin? Felt your chest burning as its power starts to melt your very being? Uh, say you have. The traveler narrows their eyes, staring at me, judging my claim. After a moment, they nod. There is respect upon their face. I stood before the portal at Solith Prime, but did not cross the threshold. I reached out. Only the tip of my finger grazed the gateway. The next moment I woke aboard the anomaly, I was transformed. The gateway here does not have the power of the ancient monoliths, though it shares the aspects of their network. Use it as you wish. Nod with respect. Um, okay, so this is an interstellar portal. So, unlike the ones, I think, you know, that we can make at our base, or at least the ones we've made so far, um, this, we can go across star system. So we can actually get back to our base, you know, one or two systems back from here. Um, and then I think there are other, there are other players, if I remember correctly. I think that's the base. Oh yeah, this is our base here. Uh, there's other players that, like, can open their bases up and people can, other, you know, human players, like me, <laughs> I'm a human in case you didn't know that, can actually travel to them for, like, I guess multiplayer or at least look at them or something like that. So that's kind of neat. Um, all right. So, well, let's go this way. There's one or two more people to talk to. This is Tethys. A strange perfume surrounds this bean. It is pleasant, if a little stale. They look startled when I address them. Oh, hello, new friend. We've not met. You know that it's it's traditional to introduce yourself with an exchange of units. Is it now? All right, well, let's give them 10 units then. Thanks. Well met. Bye now. Stay. You're still here. Hmm. Sorry, friend. I don't have anything to trade. Smell them. 
Deathless looks uncomfortable. Their pulse visible in their throat. All right, fine. Look, I admit it. I'm not a geck. I'm just another traveler passing through. Okay, why did you lie? Tethys hesitates. Have you ever crossed paths with the Sentinels who patrol most of the worlds out there? Yes, I have. Then you know what it's like to be hunted by them. Suffice to say, the Sentinels and I have, co have a conflict of interest. And now it's in my interest to lay low here. Interesting, okay. And this just kind of comes out to a balcony here. I think there's, um... I think there's, yeah, there's some vendors or whatever down here that we can talk to. Now this thing is, this allows you to go on missions with other, other players. Uh, I think that's an NPC we can talk to as well. Hello, like traveler, here you are safe and so very welcome. Iteration, long, big number, a perfect fit. This place was designed to receive you. Ask about this place. Polo and Nod are best equipped to describe the place between places. They are here not far, just at the top of the stairs. But I mean it when I say you are a perfect fit here. It's not a home for most, but a, a niche in the stars where you'll always be welcome. All right, here, let's talk to this person again. Hello again, traveler. Ask why they call you that. I meet so many travelers here, so many faces, yet all of us are like all lured by the invitation of the stars. We all pilot our ships, our suits along the path that fits each of us best. I remember every like face. You might say I collect him. Even if you change your visions, I will remember you. Okay, I guess that's all they have to say to us for now. And this just kind of leads back up into the main place. Oh, I guess we need to talk to Nada again. Okay, let's talk to Nada and see what, what they got to say. Nada and Polo drift between worlds and worlds. There are many. Have you seen them, traveler friend? Nada wishes they could. Nada regrets much. Ask what to do. Traveler entities free to make their own path and find Artemis Entity. Explore with others, travel to great sites. Proceed as you will, Traveler. Entity, we will aid you. Others will aid you. Also, even if you seek the Crimson Liar. Um, ask for help with exploration. Ask for help with Artemis. Let's go with the... Let's ask about the Crimson Liar, actually. I think that's Atlas. Yeah. False Entity, Korvax worship, but Nada knows better. Nada knows where it dwells. Nada chooses to disregard it. But if Traveler Entity wishes to seek it, Nada will help. Nada wishes you to be safe. Okay, ask for help with exploration. Of course. I'll mark your map with a great wonder, but take your time with your journey. Find your pattern. Speak to others on the station. They have things to offer you also. Return dress whenever you please, Tra Traveler Entity. You are always welcome here. Alright. Um, here we go. Okay. So we didn't ask about Artemis, but that's fine. Um, do you have anything else to say to us? Yeah, we've already talked about that. Okay. Objective updated. Continue the search for Artemis. Okay, I think we're finished here for now. So let's head on out. Um, have we talked to everybody, though? I don't know if we talked to this guy. Cronus. Life form sniffs at me with a der derisory look. I'm trying to detect the items I carry from Sent alone. Present proto sausage, feline liver, raw steak. <laughs> this crapshoot, man. Let's give him a feline liver. I do not believe anything more unpleasant has ever passed my lips. How did you ruin feline liver so? Oh, this is the cooking dude. Right, okay. Will he talk to us again? Present proto sausage. Uh, I do not believe anything. Okay, I guess he doesn't like that either. <laughs> All right, will he talk to us one more time for the other thing? Present raw steak. Um. Okay, so I don't know what what else we're supposed to do. I guess we're maybe we find um other ingredients out in the world. Egg sequencer. What's that do? And insert viable egg and catalyst substances. Well, I want gene splitter dye injector. I have no idea what that thing is. 
some kind of genome thing or something. Alright, what are you? You're Ares. Transmit milestone data. You have seen much, but do you understand enough for me to know? Please, take this. Uh, oh, look at all those nanites. Nice. And we got to see the butt, too. Okay. <laughs> uh, purchase upgrades. What kind of upgrades? Ooh, look at this. Exosuit stuff. Minotaur cannon module. We don't have a Minotaur Canyon, or a Cannon, Model 1 Cannon. What's this? Minotaur Engine Module. I think a Minotaur, is that like an Exocraft? Probably. Mining Beam Module. Power, Output, Heat, Toleration, and Fuel Efficiency. It's Class C. Yeah, okay. Now, let's just leave all that stuff for now. There's nobody here, eh? All right, maybe in, in an update, they'll have somebody there. We can't go in there. Uh, did we talk to you guys? Ask about... Hespers. Hespers. Gemini glances toward the bean at their side, their golden eyes. If it weren't for Hespers, I'd probably still be out there drifting from world to world. Entire galaxies discover no one to share with. I've never found genuine company in, in the others, even the Gex. For all their talk of friendship, they all seem to want something. Hesperus is different. They've been a true companion to me. It was a pleasure to meet you. Say hello if you pass again. Okay. Um, all right, let's talk to you. Wait. No, no, no. Not you. You. You're like a bird, dude. Salutations. Sharp-eyed beans stares me unblinking. They tell me their name, Hesperus, but rush through the words as though nu nuisanced by the introduction. Tell me, stranger, who exactly are you? A wanderer? A traveler? I am... I don't know. I don't know what I am. Hesperus exhales audibly. Perhaps you have not heard the call. It will become irresistible eventually. You begin to hear it in your dreams and your heartbeat. Even after. Even afterwards. There is a sudden movement from the other life form stood at Hesperus's side. Hesperus clears her throat. I believe we tread parallel paths, you and I, and quite... And yet, quite impossibly, we have met. Let us not make this our only encounter. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> I think we're done here, but like I said, we can call the anomaly back to us anytime we want to. Um, there, are, There is stuff here we're going to want to get eventually, but I think it's time for us to head back out to the stars. Um, I just did that for the save point. Okay, let's go. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Um, let's go here. Let's go here. So we're in this Ragile system. It's untroubled. Conflict level untroubled. So why don't we go to an asteroid belt and farm up some gold and some platinum and try and fix some, some more of our ship before we do anything else. Uh, we have an incoming transmission. Zit, 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 zit. Where is there anyone gazette out there? It's outside it. Something's wrong with um, identify yourself. I tell the stranger that I can hear them. There is a moment's pause. The only sound I hear is the background hiss of cosmic radiation. You, you found me. There's so little light. I thought I'd never hear another soul again. I really did. How did you find my voice? Uh, yeah, we did find your crashed ship. I tell the stranger about the abandoned starship wreck and how I found their communicator ID in the distress beacon. I begin to mention the, the anomalous space station, but they cut me off. <coughs> it's outside, but I think I'm safe. There are 16 of them. They look just like... Uh, ask about the 16. Yeah, what is this whole 16 business? Fear and confusion dance within the eyes of the stranger. After a few moments of silence, they turned to me, imploring. You don't know who you are, do you? You... It lied to me. It lied to all of... 
The sound cuts out, but their face lingers on silent before it too fades into nothingness, in communication. This must be Artemis, and they are clearly in need of help. I need to find a way to boost their signal. Okay, there we go. So we got some more. Uh, a base computer archives partially restored. Teleport back instantly using the space station teleporter or construct a new base using the base computer. Okay. Um, all right, so. That planet hasn't been discovered yet. That's a frost planet. Imminent core debt. Yeah, that's the planet that's like really hot. Oh. What's this planet? That's a boiling planet. That doesn't sound like fun. Have we already been down here? Yeah, that's the swamp moon. Okay, that's the one that's not too terribly nasty, actually. Um, okay, so what what I think I want to do, like I said, is I want to find an asteroid field and mine up some gold and some platinum to try and get, you know, some more of these fixes done. And then hopefully we don't get ganked in the process, because this ship is... Oh, right. No free shots in the slots. All right, let's go to the space station and sell a few things first, actually. That's what we need to do. And then we'll go farm up some gold and platinum in the asteroid belts and try and fix some more of our ship. Does this do anything? Station core, flight path, and landing overseer. Life support system stable. Commercial monitoring online. Flight path management, 84% efficiency. Atlas Aeron surve uh, surveillance um uplink functional. Upper overwrite core, restore standing. Huh, interesting. Okay. I don't remember that being in the game last time I played either. Alrighty, let's go up here first. Have we? We've already looked at this weapon, right? Have we? Actually? It's a perfection. This is a B class weapon. It has a lot more damage, a little less scanner range. It comes with a blaze javelin and a bolt caster. I don't know what that square means. Uh, so we'd have to raise about two point, uh, a little over two point eight million dollars to exchange it with the one we currently have. Uh, but it has twenty four slots versus ten slots too. Okay, well we'll keep that in mind. Um, all right. We are actually on the wrong side. We need to go on this side, the other side. All right, we want to sell. Let's sell a stack. Um, do I have paraffinium in the start? Okay, hold on. Let's do this. Let's sell all of this stuff because we don't have anything to do with use it for it right at the moment. We're going to sell the larval core. And I think that's all we want to sell from the Starship inventory. Now, from our own inventory... Uh, clumsy woodworking chisel. Where did we get that from? Look at how much that thing's worth. Approximately... 2170 years old, bejeweled and dazzling, this tool has been decorated with countless precious stones, augmented and audacious. This is a one-of-a-kind piece. This must have... I don't know where we got this, you guys. <laughs> I don't know where we got frost crystal from, either. How in the world did that happen? What? Wait a minute. I am, like, totally confused. Oh, uh, we must have... We must have gotten this at the anomaly. I guess it was given to us by talking to some of those dudes. All right, that's, I think that explains that. All right, I was like really confused there for a minute. Okay, well yeah, let's sell that sucker because that's worth almost a million right there. 
And we'll sell the frost crystals too. And that gets us up to 1.8 mil. Alright, anything else? I'd like, let's sell half of the paraffinium. We want to sell 500 of these. Just to free up another slot. Okay. And I think that's all we want to sell at the moment. Okay. Now, buying. I know we need to buy... Uh, uh, I believe... Oh, we need dioxide, actually. We need chromatic metal. We can make that, though. And I thought we needed a wiring loom as well. And we need a couple of microprocessors. Okay, so we can get uh, dioxide here. We can get wiring looms, chromatic metal. If we wanted to pay money for it, though, we can make it and microprocessors. I want to say we need two more of these at least. So let's buy two more and if we need if we need even more than that then we can get more than that. Okay, let's go back and take a look at our ship real quick here. Journey milestone accomplished. We are an entrepreneur. We've earned 771,000 units. Nice. Okay. All right, so we can f fix damaged gears with chromatic metal and wiring looms. We can fix these with dioxide. We need 40. Uh, again, I want to focus on the storage first, and then we'll worry about this stuff later, though. Okay, so we would need 40 and 80 and 120 dioxide to deal with those three things there. Okay, now, um, we can farm the gold in the asteroid belt for that. I don't know how we get activated copper. Uh, we need, okay, so we can fix this with a wiring loom, and there is two of those. So we need two wiring looms. That we can fix by farming gold. That's just chromatic metal. Okay. So let's get one, two, three times four is 12. So let's get 120 dioxide to fix those. And let's get three, six wiring looms to fix those. Okay. And then we'll see where we are with our money after that. Okay, so we want 120 of these. Okay. Um, we wanted six of these. Wow, that's expensive, man. All right, well, we got to get him to fix our ship. And how much would it cost us to buy all of this chromatic metal? Yeah, let's just do it. Okay. That's going to help us repair a few things right now or very quickly. Okay, yep, yeah, let's repair damaged gears. And damaged gears. Very good. All right, and then hydraulic damage. Hydraulic damage. And hydraulic damage. Oh, we're going to have to go farm up some more O2. Very good. Okay, so 
Um, we've uh, cleared up a few more slots here. Um, if we wanted to, we could get 80 more dioxide to also clear up those slots. Oh, chromatic metal. Yeah, let's get that cleared up. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, we'll make more chromatic metal to fix that. Yeah, the dioxide's not that expensive. Let's go get 80, uh, no, actually, I guess we need, yeah, 80 more dioxide. And that way we can repair those two things as well. I'm just going to buy all of it. That way we have some extra. We've already bought all the chro uh, chromatic metal, right? Well, there's... Yeah. Let's buy the rest of this, too. It's got platinum. How much would it cost us to buy all of his platinum? I'm gonna do it. It's just gonna save us time. That's the bottom line, man. It's gonna save us time. Uh, okay, let's um, make an offer on the life form starship. Negotiate price. Oh, this is a C-class starship. Yeah, ours is ours is definitely better. Okay, um, so we'll decline on that. Oh, we needed phosphorus for something. Uh, for some of those repairs. How much did we buy all the phosphorus? Let's do that. Okay, cool. Shattered Bulwark. Okay, we can repair this because we have the platinum now. Alright. Uh, do we have another one of those? Uh, we have one up here, so let's repair that one. That's going to be chromatic metal, chromatic metal. Okay. Well, um, let's go ahead and go get some gold. So it looks like we need to, to farm up about 270 gold to get the gold we need. Okay. Let's do it. Ah, oh boy. Hostile subspace can scan. Trying to get us while we're in the station, but you can't because we're in the station. Uh huh. Oh, you know what? Wait, I want to do here. I want to make this. We need copper. Yeah, we need copper because we have some more chromatic stuff we got to do too. All right. So we need to farm up, we'll just say about 300 gold. Oh boy, we got bad guys. All right, let's get out of the asteroid field. I seriously doubt we're going to be able to get away from him. Um. Yeah. Okay. This ship doesn't do as much damage as the other one, that's for sure. And I don't have a rocket launcher, unfortunately, on this one. We need to get one. Suspicious packet arms. Uh-oh. That's not good. We're in a little bit of trouble here. Uh, pulse engine. Uh, shield. Oh, we got it repaired. Okay, good. 
except for we don't have um, we got to repair our photon cannon. This other ship, I think, is helping us out. Yeah, he is. Can we just, like, outrun him on in, um, conventional power? I don't know. a little bit of time for my shields to recharge. Don't think I have what I need to repair my um, cannons. Want to stop for to look because then I'm just a sitting duck. But I don't know. We might have to. Uh, cannons. Oh. It said it's repaired, but it's actually not repaired. I think our only hope here is to stay with the um, the green ship. Uh, he's he's a terrible shot though. I mean he's I don't know. We might be screwed, you guys. I don't know what to do. It's too bad you can't get away from those bastards. They should let you get away from them if if you engage your pulse engine soon enough. I don't know what to do. I can't do anything. Should have tried to get the to the anomaly in the first place. We can't call it closer to us, can we? Um, space anomaly, planetary interference. Oh, we can! Oh my goodness! Okay. Come on, move! That's what we should have done. I just didn't know we could do it. I thought you could only call it into the system, not like call it right to you. Hurry, 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 hurry. No! Oh, 
I thought I thought we just got blown up. <coughs> wow, that was intense. Okay. Note to self. Next time that happens, call the anomaly to you. <laughs> Crazy! Oh my goodness! Alright, um... Well, now we're gonna have to re-repair all this shit. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Well, we just repaired the hyperdrive. <laughs> I didn't realize I had this stuff for it. Oh, man. So, did we get stuff that got re-damaged? Probably we did, I'll bet you. Maybe, I don't know. That's hard to say. Okay, let's... Uh, let's break open these gold nuggets. All right, that doesn't give us enough gold to do all the repairs we need to do, but it does get us somewhat close. Oh man, that was that was some really bad luck. But on the other hand, good luck because we survived it. I I thought for sure we were toast. All right, what is this? This is a suspicious, a suspicious scatter blaster module. Okay, we don't have a scatter blaster, so we can't do anything with this. But what we can do is... I guess we can put it into our spacesuit at the moment. Um, that way we can repair. Okay, that was the exploded panel. Do we have another one of those? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Another exploded panel. Uh, we don't have enough gold to repair that one. Okay. Well. Um. What do we do? I don't know what to do. So I think we're going to wrap up this episode here. I'll think about it, and I'll let you guys know what happens in the next episode. What I might do is run down to one of the planets and farm copper to get um, the chromatic metal for some of this stuff. And try and fix a few more things. And then, yeah, so we can fix a few more things. We'll get all this stuff fixed again. What a pain in the butt. And then uh, we'll figure out what our next move is. So, guys, with that, I'm going to let you go here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.